you're planning to fly anywhere this summer, be prepared for higher fares. Peter Greenberg is the CBS News travel editor. He has six tricks for finding cheaper airline tickets. If you say, I want to fly from Los Angeles to Hawaii, A, it's going to be a hugely expensive ticket or they're going to laugh at you. However, if you get a little bit creative and say, instead of going LA, Hawaii, which is really where you want to go, I'll go Los Angeles, Phoenix, Hawaii. Even though it's counterintuitive, it goes the wrong way, there may be seats on those flights. Milwaukee instead of Chicago, Oakland instead of San Francisco, Providence instead of Boston, and then the secret airport here in New York that nobody realizes is there. Iceland. Thank you very All much. All right. It's my favorite airport. It's actually one minute after midnight Tuesday night or 12.01 a.m. Wednesday morning. Here's how that works. Airlines always sneak out airfare sales. Not that there are that many right now, but when they do it, it's usually late Friday night. So all the matching and cross-cutting and undercutting happens over the weekend. That's the worst time for you ever to buy a ticket. And that's when most people buy their tickets because they're doing their errands. Don't do that. All the matching stops late Sunday night, early morning on Monday. So all those people who booked tickets on the discount fares on Monday but who did not pay for them within 24 hours, which then gets you to midnight on Tuesday, in that one two-hour window between 12.01 a.m. and 2 a.m. Wednesday morning, all the tickets that were booked but not purchased come flooding back into the airline's computer system at the discount fare. That's when you get online. But you don't get online on the internet. You get online with a two-word concept that we've lost in this country. It's called human being. You actually call the airline. Because the biggest myth about the internet is that all the available inventory is on the internet. It's not. It's the inventory the airline wants to make available on the internet, oh, or the hotel, so or the cruise line. So same goes for even travel websites? Everything. I dialed the regular Schlepper phone number, the 800 number for American Airlines, and I said, what's your cheapest fare tomorrow morning from Los Angeles to New York? And they said, oh, it's the 8 o'clock flight, $904. I said, really? I said, do you have a positioning flight tomorrow morning? And she waited, she says, as a matter of fact, we do. I said, what time does that leave? She said, about seven, so an hour earlier. Yeah, same equipment, 767, yeah. How much is that fare? 108. What? Positioning flight is simply this, and it happens in the cruise industry as well. It's more important for the airline to get that physical plane to New York so that it becomes their premium flight coming back. They don't care who's on the plane, they have to move the plane. I'm going to tell you a deal that it's going to surprise you. It's on Amtrak. Amtrak does a terrible job of its own promotion. Mm. So I'm going to do their job for them on this one because it's worth mentioning. They have a 15-day pass on Amtrak, which basically gives you almost unlimited travel in the entire system huh. with on and off privileges. So you can visit every relative you never wanted to see again in your life and at least get it done on the same trip, $500. And wow. kids under 12, $250. Now, do the math. Why wouldn't you do that?